Scott, we're back to talk about the creme de la creme of Mitsubishi EDM. This is the MP series. What makes it so good? So, with, in the past, we've looked at the MV series. So the MVR, fully loaded with digital fine surface, core hold function, um, fine wire, 50, 70 micron wire. All of these are now included in this machine tool. So why wouldn't I just get the other machine, a more, you know, fully loaded? So what we do now is we now ramp things up a little bit. So we have cooling all through the machine casting. The caged bearings are not only uh, larger and stronger, but they're individually sealed. So most uh, bearing guideways, the bearings all run alongside each other. And this creates a little bit of friction. So what we're trying to do here is we're just trying to grab every last micron out of the machine that we can in temperature stability, straightness of the machine tool in the, in the Z-axis. And the uh, digital uh, fine surface that we have on, on the MBR, this has a higher frequency. So this is a high speed digital fine surface. Uh, we can increase the height of the fine surface, maybe up to 100 millimeters where we're going going down to surface finishes of RA 0 0.1, 0 0.15. So we're just up in the ante with this particular machine. I hear a lot about the tubular drive technology. What is this? So the tubular drive technology is a magnetic propulsion system. And the tubular drive system uses 360 degrees of the flux. So the enforcers are, and the magnets are actually completely surrounded. So slightly more precision, slightly better surface finish. Yes, that's right, that's right. We're just move, moving everything up. Uh, you're starting to get into the area of the very fine um, uh, press tools, uh, fine blanking. Um, you're getting into a watchmaking industry, those kind of business sectors. So in terms of EDM, this is as good as it gets? On the water EDM, it is. Uh, but I've got something else to show you on the MP2400. So Scott, this is the MP range again, but it looks like we've got an addition of a fourth and fifth axis. Yeah, so uh, in the marketplace, everyone really refers to this fourth and fifth, uh, but remember we've got the, the U and the V axis as well. So we actually call this a sixth and seventh axis. Um, and this is a standard feature on Mitsubishi machines. So all our controls are ready for this kind of technology. But basically, the customer can specify what kind of axis he wants, either at purchase or later at a later date, and have it plugged straight into the control. There's no factory uh, option necessary at the time of purchase. Okay, so the software is the same, the control is the same. All we've got to do is either retrofit or spec it at the time of order. That's correct. Yes. And what type of components would we typically make on a rotary table? So I've seen things like electrodes made for, for spark erosion, um, but the real thing about uh, having the sixth and seventh axis is one of the fundamental dynamics in wire EDM is to keep the wire vertical. So if you can tip the part over, uh, then you can maintain the stability, surface finish, offset uh, between uh, the wire and the workpiece to get a good surface finish. And the tank design is different on this model. What, why is this? So uh, we have a, a three-sided uh, rise and fall tank. Uh, it's great for automation. Uh, as you can imagine, you can load a robot from the front or from the side. But also, when we're trying to get that last little piece of accuracy out of the workpiece, it's important to keep the, uh, the cutting conditions stable. So when we elevate the tank, we actually have a, a settling overflow area so that there's no dropping of the dielectric at all with standard float switches. Talking about the machine, Scott, it's great, but the engineers at home, they really want to see parts, don't they? So what parts have we got to look at? Yeah, so we've got a selection of parts just over here. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have some parts from the, the MP series. So this is a, you can see by the, the way the rods are aligned through the start holes, all different, uh, at the diff different angles. So we've put that up on the sixth and seventh axis, and we've cut through there what we would normally call a four axis program, but use the AB axis uh, to tip the part over and keep uh, the, the wire vertical during the process. Here we have a selection of uh, fine blanking punches, carbide punches, where the manufacturer is trying to really maintain the straightness up, up and down the full length of the part and a very, very good uh, surface finish. These kind of parts is where we're looking at maybe sort of watchmaker, uh, medical kind of applications and here we're looking at very, very small corner radius detail, high surface finish, and then the parts would actually be cut off, and it may be that they index that part whilst they're machining. 
This would be a, what we call a, a sixth axis application, where we may be cutting through one direction, tipping the part round, and then cutting through another direction. And then finally, we have things that we call typically a sort of slide fit application, but again, over such a, such a length of part, the straightness of the part and the surface finish of that part uh, for, the, for the lifetime of the part is key. Do we have any options available on the MP range? Uh, so on the MP range, really, the only real options you can think about is the diamond guides for different wire diameters. That's really where it ends. Um, believe me, Joe, when we talk about high accuracy, high surface finish capability in water EDM, uh, this is really as good as it gets. And uh, that combined with the support service from HK Technologies, where the service engineers and the application engineers have got many years of working together with Mitsubishi, this is as good as it gets.